Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. Um, I'm showing you the back side of the crane because there have been some changes here. And the first one is this electrical building that you see here. Now, this building contains everything that I need to control both cranes. Um, the first crane, the red crane, will uh, get the containers from the train and put them on the monorail. And this crane will put them from the monorail into a container yard and vice versa and um, I need some overall control for that because I'm, I'm treating these cranes like a uh, we call that a package unit it's a system with its own controller and uh, that's what you see here on top so I just give orders to this uh, package unit by saying you need to unload or load or something like that and this package unit will do that and for that I need a overall control system which is inside here among other things and that is the arduino that you see here that is the main controller that will communicate with both cranes um, furthermore you see there's some uh, power distribution going on we got a uh, regulator here that makes from the input 12 volt 5 volts and it has been distributed by these uh, terminal blocks that you see here um, i put a fake um, cooling fan on top because uh, why not so <laughs> it turns uh, it turns a bit and um, I also got this uh, this nice uh, air cooling uh, unit on top of the building just to add some detail and furthermore added some lighting so the building is lit when it's dark or actually all the time but you can see it better when it's dark and furthermore there's also a fuel effect transistor right here and that is used to control the lighting of the crane because I installed I don't know if you can see it properly not on this side I installed on every support a light like this one here so we've got three on that side and three on this side and those lightings uh, are controlled by uh, by this unit here and I use a field effect transistor so um, I can power them easily and uh, what I basically do is when the crane is in standby they're at 50% and when the crane is active I pump them up to 100% so you get some uh, some additional lighting which uh, I think has a cool effect in the video furthermore I also installed some lighting underneath this unit you can see them right there so we've got two on this side two on the other side which also are enabled when the crane is active Furthermore, you see also a flashlight installed here, and that will flash also when the uh, the crane is active. Um, I have been working on some details here, some uh, some aesthetic uh, things going on. The pneumatic valve was on top of here, and I placed it below here. It's it's a, it looks a bit cleaner, a bit nicer, and uh, the only thing I still have to do is cover this whole thing up. I want to place a small control room on top of it. I don't know if it fits, but I can make it happen probably. <laughs> and furthermore, we got four LEDs here beneath the uh, transparent uh, tiles. And those LEDs are um, basically showing the communication between the overall control and the crane. So it's, uh, it's a bit more easy for me during commissioning to see where uh, some problems might occur or not so I can see in which state the crane will be furthermore um, like I said there will be communication so I added four wires I just do a very basic communication and the basic communication will say um, start unloading I don't know monorail one or start unloading monorail two and place them on the pad somewhere just basic commands and then the whole thing will do that um, the idea is that this unit will um, randomly place them on the container pads so I don't know yet how it, it should work I have, to, I have to write the software but this unit will say unload re uh, um, monorail 1 for example and then it'll place automatically in random order the containers on the container pad well not in random order for the monorail it will do one, two, three, but then it'll place them uh, somewhere random in the container yard. 
So last video, I was telling you about the offset that the vertical movement of the uh, crane has, and that has to do with the grabber here. It has some backlash, and that makes the whole crane a bit, um, it has a small offset. And normally when you stack uh, containers on top of each other, you got the, uh, the X movement and the Y movement, the horizontal movements should be the same for one stack of containers and only the vertical movement, the Z movement will change in that case. But in my case not. Uh, <laughs> so that means that um, the, the X and Y coordinates can be different for the first container that I uh, place on the pad compared to the third container that I place, which is higher. So there's an, an offset going on. And um, it has to do with the backlash. I can't fix that. So um, I fixed that in the software by giving each container its own uh, coordinates. So each position on the container yard has its own coordinates right now. I try to place them in a, a three-dimensional array. An array is, is like a series of, uh, of variables. And if you place an array in an array, then you got a two-dimensional array and you can place another array in that and you got a three-dimensional array but I couldn't wrap my head around it so <laughs> I, I just stopped doing that and uh, made it a bit easy by just I don't know if you can see it or not this is the program I have to crap <laughs> this is the program uh, that I'm working on and as you can see every for example this is the variable for x1 i1 z1 x1 i1 y1 z2 and so on and everything has its own coordinates what you see here so um, this uh, was a bit of a hassle to get it all working and get it all measured but i fixed it and now it works just fine uh, last thing that i wanted to show you is this right here <laughs> This is not Lego. Um, I got a few air tanks here. I got like like 10 air tanks here. But um, working on the crane um, takes some air, not even that much because there's only the grabber here, which has two small pneumatic pistons. But in the end, this compressor was turning on all the time and it, dro it drove me completely crazy. So I installed a additional um, air tank which is made out of two bottles and uh, right now the, the compressor has to run for like five minutes to fill it up and then I can work without any disturbance for like an hour or so uh, with the crane without the compressor turning on again so this is non Lego which is a bit against my principle so I don't know if I'm gonna use this during uh, the actual video or just now because um, um, I'm, I'm working on it, engineering it. Um, but the problem is these air tanks, they are now, I don't know, like, like 10 euros each or something, 15 maybe. And they're a bit scarce. They're not very good available on, on BrickLink. So that's why I jumped to, uh, to these bottles here. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use them in the, in the video, but if I'm going to use them, I'm going to hide them somewhere so you can't see them. <laughs> so um, it could be that this compressor doesn't have enough uh, capacity to run both cranes uh, so we'll just have to see so maybe I need to uh, build up some pressure first then I can run both cranes for uh, I don't know uh, five to ten minutes and then um, the whole thing needs to uh, get um, get on pressure again so um, we'll see how it all works out and uh, there's gonna be a wire, a pressure okay wire that's coming from this compressor that's going into this crane and also the other crane. So um, you know the pressure is okay before you can actually pick up a container. All right, um, right now we're gonna dim the lights a bit and we're gonna enable the system. It's not going to move the containers because um, there's, there's too much mess going on. I'm busy with tiling up the whole thing I don't know if you can see it, not very clearly. Like you see here, I'm tiling it all up. I'm, I'm a bit struggling with uh, putting in, I, I need to put in some weed or something, you know, to, to look it a bit, bit, bit more, less clean. So I'm struggling a bit with that, but f 
right now it's going uh, it's going great um oh yeah one last thing i forgot to mention it has to do with uh, the empty space here that you see so i designed a, an additional building in uh, studio and um, the bricks are coming in right now which uh, takes a bit more time than expected because some bricklink sellers are a bit slow <laughs> so um that building is going to be here and um it's basically a, a bit of a, a storage facility or a warehouse kind of thing it has a forklift i found a very nice forklift on uh, rebrickable it's it's quite big but it looks nice so um I'd, i decided to build that one as well but it needed of course a garage so I was building a garage and then a second garage came in for storing some content for uh, which which come out of the containers I don't know and uh, I built a small office as well and so it became a whole building of uh, I don't know more than 2,000 pieces <laughs> so uh, but it, it's it's gonna look nice I, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit exactly here because this building wasn't there when I was designing it but um, there will be some plates on the side here as well I got them laying around there already so um, I think space won't be a problem but I believe it's as, as wide as one base plate of 32 studs maybe a bit more but it'll fit I'll make it fit so um, it's now time to dim the lights and have a look at how the lighting looks like with uh, all the mess below the uh, crane and this is what it looks like with the lights enabled well, the fan actually makes more noise than I thought, so it's <laughs> it's actually quite disturbing. <laughs> it's already on 5 volts, so it doesn't turn that, that fast, but man, it's annoying. So I, I don't know if I'm going to keep that one, or just for the video, make a switch somewhere. I got a switch here, but then I'll switch everything off. So, I don't know, gonna make a shot while it's moving and then um, it's gonna stay off for the rest of the of shooting the video i believe uh, this building is nicely lit now you can see a bit what's going inside um, furthermore you see the lighting below the uh, the crane right now and it's lighting up nicely and the flashing that you see going on is the flashing of the uh, of the lights below the moving unit of the crane so it will be enabled when the crane is moving so you got a bit more uh, light going on so but uh, i think it looks nice on top of here we got also the flashlight of course which also works nicely well that's about it what i can tell you about uh, the crane right now thank you for watching and um, i'm gonna continue uh, tiling the whole thing up and um, I'm going to continue building the warehouse kind of structure that's going to be here so next video will be about that so um, subscribe if you haven't done so to uh, to see some other videos of mine and see uh, what's going on and how this project will, uh, will be in the future and uh, like the video if you liked it and hope to see you next time bye